Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Shelby Sherwood and welcome to my YouTube channel. I know I've been absent for a little bit. I was crazy busy in June, which is pretty much why you didn't see a video all of June, but my life is a little bit less hectic now. I'm back on my grind, back in the studio. It feels great to be in here. I've missed it so much. Makeup has always been a big part of my life, but I feel like my interests are changing a little bit more. I still love makeup, but I feel like fat Fashion is definitely a major part of my life now so you guys are gonna see a lot of vlogs a lot of fashion videos some makeup um, I still do love makeup hence the face um, just more challenges and just different videos I used to just do a lot of makeup videos and I felt like it would get really boring it wasn't interesting enough so with that being said I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to go through all of my makeup and declutter it all because I have foundations in there from five years ago I have powders in there that have like clumps in them just gross makeup that's so old so if you want to see me go through all of my makeup clear it all out have a fresh start then let's just get right into this so I'm just going to go in the order of the way that I apply my makeup. So primers are up first and my drawers are organized that way so I just feel like it's easier. First up, this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. This is so empty as you can see, like I literally squeezed the death out of that. I think it's finally time for me to just throw this out. I don't think I'm going to get any more uses out of it. Next up is the Benefit Professional. I love this one. I'm almost out of this too which is why it's kind of like flat. And then I have a backup right here. so. I'm gonna keep these. These are both my ride or die. This is the one heck of a blot primer and this is by Soap and Glory. I actually just purchased this not too long ago and I absolutely love it so definitely keeping that. This is the Maybelline Master Prime and this is the Blur and Smooth one. This is pretty good. Um, I use it on days that like I don't need my makeup to last a really long time so just like a throw on makeup run errands type of thing. So I'm going to keep this just for that reason. I don't use this for like nights that I'm going out or have special events. I don't know, I just feel like it's not the best primer out there. Baby Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like the um, pore minimizing one. I'm definitely going to keep this even though I'm pretty much out of it, but I love it. Elf Poreless Face Primer. Um, I don't know, this is like pretty good, but I feel like it makes my makeup kind of like slip all over my face. So, hmm, maybe I'll like donate this to one of my friends. So we'll keep that back there. Pore Professional Matte Rescue. I used to use this all the time and I don't even use it anymore just because I feel like it doesn't really do anything, but I kind of want to keep it. Hmm, maybe pile. Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum. This I'm going to donate. I just don't use it a lot. I feel like it has no use for me. I feel like it's really not that good. So maybe one of my friends will like it. Cover FX Blurring Primer. I actually just got this in a BoxyCharm and I love it. So definitely keeping this one. Fenty Beauty Primer. Absolutely love this. I think I'm almost out of this though, which is really sad. Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I'm never going to use this, so I honestly might just give this to my mom. AOA Studio Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. This sucks, and it has like glitter in it, so I don't think anyone's going to like this, so I'm just going to trash it. And that's it. Moving <laughs> on to sprays. I'm pretty much just going to keep all of these, I think. So I have the Ofra Makeup Fixer. This is really good. It's still pretty much full. It's so big and I love it. Keeping that Smashbox Primer Water, you guys already know. I have a backup of that. Mario Badescu Spray. I love this. I have a big one right here. Keeping these. This is the Project Beauty Spray Set Go Setting Spray. Um, I'm almost out of this, so I'm just going to use it up. It really wasn't that good, so I definitely won't repurchase it, but I mean... You might as well just use that little bit up, right? And then I have the Urban Decay um, Nightmare, which is the best setting spray out there. For foundations, I have a high-end bin, I have a, a drugstore bin, and then I just have like random ones that literally won't fit. So let's start with this. This is the CoverGirl BB Cream. I love this. It's the clean matte one, so it keeps you really matte. It's good for days that you don't want to have a full coverage heavy foundation on. It's really good at just evening out the skin tone, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage. I love these. I have the shade 130 Buff Beige and 112 Natural Ivory. These are a really good drugstore foundation for the price. I think they're like $12 and they're just amazing. 
amazing. Full coverage, lightweight, I love them. So definitely keeping those. So I actually just picked this foundation up. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I actually tried it out today for the first time and I love it. It feels like nothing is on your skin. It's really full coverage and I don't think it transfers onto anything. So I'm definitely keeping this. And then the LA Colors Truly Matte. I love this foundation. It's so good. Oh my goodness. And it's like $6. So good. Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This is a really good foundation more in the winter time. I can't wear this in the summer just because of my oily skin, but it's a beautiful finish and I don't know, it just looks stunning and I love the bottle. So definitely keeping this one. LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. I really don't like this. It doesn't stay on my skin long enough compared to my other foundations. I'm going to give this to one of my friends. One, two, three for five shades of wet and wild and i'm keeping all of these because i have one for when i'm really fair and then i have one for when i'm really dark and i haven't really had these that long i mean i don't know they still work can't go wrong with those they're just such a good foundation get cover girl vitalist healthy elixir foundation this is pretty good i haven't used it in a while so i definitely need to try it out again um, so this is going to go in a pile that I need to try out again before I like donate it and stuff. This is the Koki Skin Perfect HD Foundation. You can find this at Walmart, I believe. I'm not sure if they're still there, but I don't know. I really liked it when I had it and it, it's a really dark shade. So I use it to like mix into my foundations that are too light. So I'm going to keep this. And then I have about six shades of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. These are probably so old. Oh my goodness. I probably had these for like four years. I feel like I should just get rid of them because I don't even reach for them anymore. I have three shades of the CoverGirl Outlast the Fabulous Foundation. This is the three in one. I've had these for so long, but I still love them so much. So I'm going to keep them. I definitely like them a lot better than the Infallible Pro Matte, so I'm going to keep them. I mean, they're not taking up that much space, so. Two shades of the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. Um, hmm. These compared to this. Ooh, that's a tough one. I know they're different foundations, but I just like these so much better, so I'm going to donate these. Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I don't like this foundation at all. I'm not even sure why I kept it, so I'm going to pass on this one. They all fit in one container now. That is so satisfying. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in Conceal. I love this foundation. It's so good. It's so lightweight, and it has a really good coverage. It's a really nice everyday foundation, so I'm going to keep this. Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Honestly, I hate this. I hate it so much. I don't think it makes my skin look good at all. I think it just makes my texture look 20 times worse than it already is. And I don't know, I just don't like the finish, so I'm actually going to donate this because I never, ever, ever reach for this. Dior Forever Skin. Love this. I'm not getting rid of this, baby. It's my holy grail. It's so good. Oh my goodness. YSL All Hours. Same thing with this one. Love it too much to get rid of it. Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I have not worn this in the longest time, so I definitely need to try it out again to see my opinion on it, but I'll definitely have to try it out in like a video or something. Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. I haven't worn this in the hot minute. I definitely need to test it out again, even though it's almost empty. <laughs> That's okay, but I definitely am going to try it out one more time before I get rid of it. Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. I love this way too much to get rid of it. So full coverage, so lightweight, and the pigment is insane. Literally insane. Definitely keeping that. Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This is a new one to my collection, but I actually really like this for days that I don't want super full coverage and I'm not going to have my foundation on for a long time. I don't know, I just like it for like an everyday you know, run errands type of foundation. So I'm going to keep this one. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Um, I haven't used this in a while, so I definitely need to test it out again. I feel like my opinion changes a lot, but I'm going to keep it just because it's Fenty Beauty. <laughs> Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. I haven't worn this in a while, but I remember loving it. So I'm going to keep this. Kat Von D Lock It. 
I definitely need to test this out again. The bottle is completely full, which is kind of upsetting, but I definitely am going to try it out one more time, and then if it doesn't work well with my skin, then I'm just going to donate it to one of my friends. So... Moving on to concealers, I have these all split up. This is high-end, this is drugstore, and this is just crappy drugstore. <laughs> so we're going to go through high-end first. I'm probably not going to get rid of anything, but we have Kat Von D Locket Concealer. I actually really like this. Um, not so much the foundation, but I feel like this one is just better than the foundation. It's not so heavy on the skin. So I'm going to keep this. New ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I haven't even touched this, so definitely keeping this. Of course, I have my three Tarte Shape Tapes. I love them. There's nothing better than Tarte Shape Tape, in my opinion. So definitely keeping these. Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I actually really like this concealer. I love the consistency, and it's just really lightweight. Definitely keeping this one. Busted and crusted naked skin weightless complete coverage concealer. This is so old, look at it. So definitely gonna throw this out. I've probably had this for like six years. Two, three, four, five, six shades of the Maybelline Fit Me. So beautiful on the skin. It's really lightweight and I don't know, you just can't get better. So I'm gonna keep all of these. I think a few of them are expired. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of 25 medium so I've had that for a long time and I'm gonna get rid of I don't know I feel like I'll never use these really dark shades like look at that down to four which is okay <laughs> three shades of the Maybelline master conceal this is such a good concealer oh my goodness so full coverage so lightweight oh my goodness it just makes your skin look flawless I love these for when I'm really going full coverage and I really need that extra oomph. So I'm going to keep these, um, I don't know, maybe I won't keep light medium. This kind of looks like a really yellow shade. I'm going to keep the shades light and fair. The Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. This is also a very, very good concealer from the drugstore. Um, I'm pretty sure this shade is empty. Uh, no, there's still some in there. Yeah, I'm going to use that up. And then this shade, I think, is darker, so I definitely have a lot, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to keep these just because, I don't know, they're really good and I still have product left. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I love this concealer. It's just, oh, I love it. So Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I actually really like this when I did use it. I think I'm going to keep it just to test it out again, but if I don't end up liking it next time, I'm just going to get rid of it. Wet n Wild Concealer absolutely hate this the dofa applicator is just way too small for me like that's way too small so i'm gonna just toss this i never reach for it i've only used it for a video and that's about it xhd studio concealer oh, i don't reach for this one either i feel like i should just get rid of it oh okay i'm gonna get rid of that two shades of the maybelline fit me shine and balance stick foundations Oh boy, I used to use the dark shade right here, Coconut, to contour with, and I probably still could. It's just a really nice contour shade, but I don't cream contour anymore. And this is the other shade I have, so I don't know. These are tough. I'm going to keep them just because, I don't know, maybe I'll cream contour sometime in the future and I'll want these. AOA Wonder Cover HD Concealer. This is legit orange on my skin even though it doesn't look like it. It's a very peach toned, literally just an orange concealer. So I'm just going to throw this out because no one's going to be able to use this. Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Ooh, I haven't used this in a while. I feel like this is really old though. I think this is really old. So I'm just going to toss this. I think this is like easily like two or three years old. So satisfying, right? Oh, I love it. And then moving on to powders. I don't have a lot of powders, but I definitely need to get rid of some that I don't even use. So I have two Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. This is so good. I'm not getting rid of this. This is my all-time favorite right now. Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder is so good like I'm almost out that's really sad but this is also one of my favorites it's just so finely milled it looks gorgeous on your skin doesn't give you flashback it's so good <laughs> two shades of the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder these are actually really good powders I like the shade fair a little bit better than the shade fair light this one's a little bit too yellow for me 
and this one's a little bit whiter so I feel like this one gives me a brighter effect but I'm definitely keeping these they're so good it's definitely a great alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money on the Laura Mercier and then I have Cody Airspun. I don't even use this anymore, and honestly, when I use it, I feel like my makeup just looks like complete crap. So I'm going to actually donate this to my cousins because they actually really like this. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm never going to use it. I hate it. I don't like it. So definitely going to just donate that. The AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. I love these. They're so good, and they're a dollar. One's in the shade Soft Light, and one's in the shade Brightening. So, the Beauty Big Bang Loose Powder. I can't even open this. Like, the little sticker in here, I can't get up. So, I'm just going to toss this, because I've tried so many times to get this sticker off, and I've tried to, like, lift the sifter off, too, and it's not even worth my time. Like, this is just so annoying to deal with. So, I'm just going to toss this, because... I can't freaking even try out the product. Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I actually really like this. Um, I use this maybe to touch up my makeup sometimes. It's really soft and it doesn't like mess up your makeup at all if you're like just touching up with it. And I don't know, I just like it. It's nice. It's really soft. Ooh. And then I have this Kat Von D. What is this? Lock It Powder Foundation. Oh boy. I used to use this as a like powder to set my face probably like four or five years ago. Boy, did I look cakey. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll use it sometime in the future just like by itself. So I'm just going to keep it. There's not much left, but maybe I'll just use it up sometime in the future. Bare Minerals Invisible Light. I never use this. It doesn't make my skin look good at all, honestly. I don't know, I just don't really like it. So I think I'm gonna pass on this. I'm just gonna donate it to someone. Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. I have the shade 30 and 80 <laughs> when I'm white and then when I'm tan. They're really nice powders, so and they're really affordable. So those are all the powders. I definitely got rid of some that I really needed to. And my makeup collection is decluttered. That actually felt really good to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited that I'm back. Because I am. I'm very excited. I miss you guys so, 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 so much. Feels great to be back. Definitely let me know down below what you want to see next. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.